guys, I'm Belen from Gibson Girls LA and today I want to talk to you guys about the mini Sephora collection that came out about three months ago. I wanted to have time to play with them a little bit before I gave my review. Then we'll be talking about the lipstick, the eyeshadow palette, and the brushes. So this is what the lipstick came in. It's called the Perfect Red Lipstick. Cute little box with a little mini charm there. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit heavy. It's nice dense if you like that. And then once you open it, you have a little mini there, and you have the little mini signature there. The color on its own here looks amazing, but once you swap, it, it's a little sheer. You really have to pack it on, and it doesn't tend to last very long. But I really love like the art deco of the packaging. It's super cute. Um, $15. Right now, you can no longer purchase this item. Um, but keep looking at Sephora online because they do keep coming back in and out of uh, sale. So if you want it, keep your eye out for it. And this is the mini eyeshadow palette called Mini's World in Color. And this is a cute little box that it comes in. It comes in a little clutch, super cute. Mini on the corner there. Cute little charm. And as you open it up, you're going to see all the nice little palettes colors up here. All the colors have cute little names on them. There is a Miss Mini, which is this nice red. Puppy Love, Word in a Skirt. My favorite is going to be Hello Mickey. And Big Shoes to Fill are my two favorites um, that I've been using a lot this summer, springtime. And you have neutrals right here in the middle, and then kind of pops of color, and a little bit of darker shades on this side. And you can really just mix and match them uh, depending on what you're doing. You can do something really cosplay with these colors. And you can use them as a, just every day at the park or nice little brunch. The pigmentation is fantastic. You don't have to reapply. They stay. They're, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. If you would like to, you can actually take out the mirror and the palette. Let's see if I can do it. And then you can just use this as an actual clutch. It doesn't have anything to hang from, but it's still really cute. And then the third thing I'm talking about today is going to be the brushes. If you like Sephora brushes, you're going to like this. Because it's just the Sephora brushes with the mini designs on them, with the polka dots. This still also came with a charm, but I've been using the brushes I took the charm off because it's a little easier to apply makeup with. So it comes with five brushes, and it comes with a cute little stand with a bow, mini classic mini bow. The quality of them is just like any other Sephora brush. Um, this whole collection cost me $58, and a regular Sephora five pack of brushes gonna cost you about 54. So it's not a big difference in price. As far as I know, they are um, natural, cool, except for this little one here, which is synthetic. So overall, these three products cost me $118. Other than the lipstick, I really think the palette and the brushes are worth purchasing if you want them. The lipstick was a little too sheer for me. I do like the deeper red. Um, for me, it wasn't deep enough. But other than that, if you love Minnie Mouse and you love Sephora collections, those are two of the definite ones I would suggest. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know that the collection is much bigger than what I talked about today, so if you have any of the other products and you want to let me know how you like them, let me know. And let me know how the palettes are working for you and how the brushes are working for you, because I really want to know. I know it works for me, but I want to hear from you guys as well. Thanks guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!